freedom that has allowed us to come to you. For we have heard the call of your planet for help, for you desire to be as we, free and happy. And yet all that we can tell you is that freedom is within yourself and not within the outer world. For the outer world is a distraction and a series of distractions which serve as a catalyst for your understanding. This catalyst you may ignore. You may become unhappy. You may become tired or you may consider these things within yourself deciding what each lesson of your life might have to do with love. And when you see the love in a situation, then you have come one step closer to what you would call the kingdom of heaven. That is the place in which we dwell, for our dimension relates very closely to your heavenly vibration, as you would call it, in that vibration we live. And from that vibration, we reach back to you to help, as it were, by inspiration, to help you want to be lifted up into a place in which there is peace and joy in reality and not only in dreams. Does that answer your question? Yes. Do you feel any other emotions besides love? Do you ever feel angry? I am a ton. We feel an emotion besides love, but it is not anger. We feel an immense sorrow, a grief. We grieve for your peoples. We are not the first civilization that has approached annihilation on a planetary level, but there are not many of you. We grieve because you are separated and we yearn and wish and hope that we can help you become one within yourselves with love. We grieve as parents grieve when their children are unhappy, wanting to give them happiness but not knowing how. We grieve at your nations that they are hostile to each other. For ours is a vibration of love, and when there is love, there is sadness. Sadness for those who do not know love and this emotion we feel. We speak only for the vibrations of Hatan. You must understand that we are one of many, many civilizations which make up the confederation of planets in the service of the infant creator. We are, shall we say, among them, not at the greatest of vibrations, though indeed the one known to you as Latwi and the one known to you as Tilan are both of a light vibration which is much higher and much more full of joy than our own. And in their message, there could never be any grief, but we have not yet reached their wisdom and we vibrate in love. Thus, we feel sadness and we reach out to you in both love and sadness and when you accept our love and your own sadness as a people diminishes slightly then we feel great joy and when you wish to fight among yourselves then we are sad again Questioner, do you 
feel other emotions between yourselves. I am a ton. May we say that to you that it is a difficult to express our thoughts through this channel on this subject. For she does not have a vocabulary suited to express the shadings of love. There are many, many different kinds of appreciation. There are differences of opinion among us, but they are not inharmonious, for differences of opinion are simply differences in vibration, and when that can be seen simply as that, it becomes simple to move an inharmonious vibration so that the person is better placed to be in harmony with those about them. You have an expression of this which is a cliché among your people. We find it in this instrument's mind. It is called birds of a feather flock together. And this is precisely what happens among our people. Those of us who have one goal, one type of desire, spend our time pursuing it as one being. And yet, we all appreciate each other's skills and abilities. Thus, we do not leave the vibration of love, yet our emotions vary widely as we listen to the healing of one and the music of another, or the cooking skills of another, or the poetry of another, or the ability to travel through densities and bring back beautiful stories from another. You do not know who is speaking to you, for we do not have names. You may be having a contact with a healer, Hatan, or a singer, Hatan, or a poet, Hatan. Thus the messages vary from time to time to a certain extent, but we are enough alike in our desire that there is similarity. In this instrument's mind, there is a fact which perhaps helps to clarify the question. The word snow is one word in your language, but among those who live in the far, far north, there are many, many words for snow. Thus, it is with love. When you can see the variations in the shades of love, you can appreciate and feel an incredible variety of love. Questioner, thank you very much for answering my questions. I'm a ton. We are the ones to thank you, my sister. For without you, we would be talking to ourselves. Is there another question? Questioner, yes. What is evil in your density? Is evil exist? I am a ton. I am aware of your question, but there is some difficulty in answering it fully, for there is no evil in our particular density. We are in a density of unity. Evil, as you know it, in your density, seems rather complex, but in reality, it is simply the manifestation of separation. Brother from brother, sister from sister, and man from creator. Each man is the creator. The lack of understanding of this principle of universal law is the source in the beginning of evil. Man, not understanding that all is one, and that what man does to his brother, he does to himself, decides to gain power over his brothers, and enslaves his brother. Sometimes this evil is projected from individual to larger groups, whole nations as you call them on your planet, can become evil. Whole planets can become evil. It is simply a measure of separation of man 
from the knowledge and love of the Creator. It is a type of ignorance, and this is why the best defense against evil in your illusion is the knowledge of what evil really is. Thus, faced with evil, you can find the Creator in the source of that evil. This blocks the evil from coming into your world, for one who loves is stronger in unity than one who does not love in his evil. In many situations that may seem that evil has triumphed, it must be understood that metaphysically speaking, evil cannot triumph, it can only lose. That is the best it can do. That is what it is now doing upon your planet. It is keeping love in flight. The difficulty is that many among your people do not care whether they are good or evil. Thus, they are a little good and a little evil. Not truly good and not truly evil. They vibrate so weakly that they cannot help and they cannot hinder. And then they leave the field clear for those who wish power over others and wish to be evil. Thus, we always ask for you to know that all things are one that love created all that there is, that the original thought is love. A true understanding of the unity of all that there is is a great gate into a realm of white light from which we can gaze at the cold eyes of evil without fear. For evil exists only on the lower planes, in one of which you are now enjoying an experience. It is an expression in which you can find evil, but it is only an illusion. It is an illusion which is caused by thought. That thought is the thought of separation. That which is good is a thought of unity, of love. We do not have evil due to the time we have spent on the evolutionary spiral. For the density that you now enjoy through the next density which you will come to enjoy into the one which we now enjoy. See? In the next density which you will enjoy, there will be evil but it will be in a greatly attunated form and will be seen to be a creature of thought only. Thus you will be able to deal with it in a more adult manner. It will not be as threatening and it will be easier for you to become adept at loving. The lessons become easier and the path becomes lighter. When you reach the vibration that we now enjoy, there will be no evil. And you will find that in order to possess and to learn, you must reach backwards as teachers, such as we, and attempt to bring after you those who are now seeking to follow the path that you have chosen. In this way, we deepen our understanding. You deepen your understanding by direct confrontation that is far more painful, but is far quicker. And this we say to you. You have a marvelous opportunity, day by day, to enrich that within you which is immortal with an understanding of love. It has been a pleasure speaking with you.
my brothers and sisters, be in peace. Praise be our one infinite creator. We thank you, one infinite creator, for your love. We thank you, one infinite creator, for your light. All is one. Donate.